Hey guys, it's Jimmy Jules 153 back again with another Dreams Logic tutorial. Today we'll be looking into the selector. We've got our on-off switch here too, so you can see what happens when we activate the ports, and we'll make a few cubes as well, so you can see what happens when the ports activate. Selectors are simple gadgets, but they're useful for heaps of things. They're especially handy for handling multiple signals when you only want one output at a time. You can see by default, port A is activated. If we start our timer that's plugged into the next output port, it'll cycle through each of the ports until the last one, and it'll start over again. We can also use the letter ports on the left to override the output. So if we activate our port B with the switch over here, it won't matter which port it's on, it'll immediately activate port B and keep cycling through. There's not much extra on the tweak menu for this one, but there is a pass-through input down here that will let the true percentage signal pass through the selector, otherwise it'll just output a 100% signal. I used this to control which player's turn it was in Strike 4s, I hooked up player 1's input to A and player 2 up to B and just cycle between them when the players finish their turn. Selectors are a pretty simple one so that's all for today's video guys, I'll see you on the next one.